The season may be over, but the story is still beginning. Spell, have some interest. Hello folks, you join us at an interesting point in the Espalian job. Most of the business for this season is done and uh, we've got no money left. So with four days to go before the window closes, a consortium have planned a takeover of Spal 2K13. I will now be here for the final four days so I can live react to anything that's happening. Now, of course, I don't want to reveal too much about what has and hasn't happened so far in the transfer window until a few moments time. But I guess we'll wait and see. We have Torino in Serie A, and then the transfer window closed on the 2nd of September. I'm nervous. They could sack me. I mean, I hope they don't sack me, but they could sack me. Of course, this could fall through. There could be no deal by the end of it. I, we, this is the waiting process. We played Torino. Ordinarily, that would be our first game. I can't do deals at the moment because of financial issues, as well as, obviously, a takeover happening. I don't know what to do. You can see our budget currently. £800 trying to bring Alex Salto in. Can't. Will there be a takeover? Can they have done this a month ago? No, apparently not. Okay, I've got stuff to do for Torino, but it's not important right now. It does say on the, the general page that the owner status is in the process of a board takeover. So it could happen any minute now. With the takeover stalling, it was time to prepare for a match day. Danny Graham's got a hernia through wear and tear. What's he been doing? Right, I'm going to play Torino. I'll let you know what happens in this, and then we'll just sort of carry on afterwards. At half time, it's it's nil-nil. Well, it's the first goal of the season, and it's been scored by the main man, number 71, Dorian Heiser. And sadly for us, it didn't last all that long, but uh, Luke de Jong has scored, and Torino are now level. Just deflected in. Torino are now leading. I realise I've got a new goalkeeper, and you can't see his name, so that's annoying. It's It's gone in the goal. So, Torino beat us 2-1, opening day of the season. Will we have a takeover? There's an international break coming up. We still haven't heard anything. The transfer window closes in about a day. I don't think this takeover is going to happen. At least, not quickly. And this happens right now. With the takeover bid stalling, transfers were back on the agenda. Alberto Seri, the man of interest. Would we accept or would we reject? Negotiations begin. Okay, still no news. And Reading have tabled the bid for Alberto Seri. I'll give you some insight. 24 million. That's my figure for Alberto. No one's accepted yet. Uh, Everton got to 20, but not straight. Ah, now Reading are trying to negotiate. Now, I will go down to 23, maybe 23 and a half. They've gone to 13. Hmm. They've gone to 16. They've said... 21 million with 30% of the profit from the next sale. 21 million. Oh, God. I mean, what would you do? <laughs> oh, no. 21 million pounds for Alberto Seri. What would you do? What would you do? We should accept that we will potentially also decline. Seri is set to leave and join Reading for 21 million pounds. I'm going to need a striker. This Palmer Hall of Famer was quickly becoming a spell legend. Would we take the money and run, or would we reject the money? And keep a man that has carried us through the previous two seasons. I knew a decision had to come today. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't, know, I don't know what to do. I don't know what the right move is, is here. 21 million pounds. We get 75% of that. So we get a good 15 mil. Like, what? What do you... God's sake, we've got like no time left. What do you do in this sort of situation? Oh my God, what do you do? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. 21 million pounds. Is uh, Are we still going to stay up regard if we sell him? Got 23 goals last year. Nine assists in Serie A. Our striking options. We've got, we've got problems. We've got two injuries. We've got a wonder kid. We've got a loan sign-in. Like, what? <laughs> I mean, I can I can bring players in, but enough? 
What is the right move here? What is the what is the right decision? Do I keep him for another year? Hope he has a good year, but with only one left year year left on his contract, do I do I risk losing him on a free at this point, or for twelve million next year? He's not going to sign a new contract, and our squad isn't good enough to get like a, 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 into Europe, for example. So am I selling him to Reading, knowing that this is the best money we're ever going to get for him? He's never going to be worth more than this to me. So do, does that mean we have to accept? Does that mean we have to sell? Does that mean we have to... How important are his goals? What, where would we be without his goals last season? Is there enough time to bring someone in to replace him? I don't know what to do. Okay, right. I've been set out here for about 15 minutes. Oh, I made a decision.